so hello everybody welcome back to math with these in this video i'm going to tell you guys how you can attempt the cu set 2020 paper of mathematics okay now basically uh, i have solved various previous year questions of 2017 18 and 19 of cu set but all those questions that i have solved are from part b okay that are of higher mathematics okay now we should now uh, since only few days are left for the exam we should now know how to attempt the paper at the time of exam okay so let's discuss something about that okay now your paper consists of two parts part a and part b your part a consists of 25 questions in total and part b consists of 75 questions in total right so total there are 100 questions and one mark is there for each question so your overall score would be from 100 only and whether you attempt any question from part a or part b each question is of one mark okay so here comes my two important advices for all of you okay the first one is do not ignore part a because part a is very scoring okay now uh, how much you study or um, prepare for part b it has a huge and a vast syllabus you can't do everything right so it's better that to score or to uh, pass that cut off you should do a lot of questions from part A as well. Because part A questions, they are first of all, they are simple. Secondly, they are not that time consuming. You can solve each question in 30 seconds or 40 seconds like that. But for higher mathematics question, you would require time. Okay, so you should not ignore part A in any sense. And in fact, you should uh, focus more on part A. And uh, now since only uh, three days are left for the exam, you cannot prepare much for part A. But in this video, I'm going to tell you how you guys can uh, attempt some of the questions of part A by not just preparing, but just by your uh, mental ability out there. Okay. Now, my second tip is that you should always start attempting your paper from part A. Okay. So first of all, just start the paper from part A and solve uh, a number of questions, which I'm going to tell right now. Okay. And then move to part B. So that you will, you can uh, solve some of the questions in less time and therefore you will gain a lot of confidence to solve the higher mathematics questions, right? And also there are only two hours to solve these hundred questions. So, uh, so you shouldn't just ignore part A because it is really not at all time consuming. You can solve it in seconds. Okay, now let's discuss something about part A. Part A basically consists of three sections. First is your general knowledge. Second is your mathematical reasoning and third is your English. Okay, now I know that not everybody knows all these subjects and not everybody knows each and every question of general knowledge. Of course, we uh, don't have that high general knowledge. I know that. So I have done a uh, brief analysis of 2018 paper for part A. Okay, in that um, uh, I have just seen that. Uh, in general knowledge, nine questions have been asked. Okay, so nine questions from general knowledge are there. Six questions from mathematical reasoning are there. And ten questions from English are there. Okay, now let's first take mathematical reasoning. Okay, now six questions are there from mathematical reasoning. Out of which one is from reasoning. Uh, the topic is syllogisms. And five questions are from mathematics. That mathematics is quite simple. And you can solve all these six questions. And... Uh, if you need any help, I would uh, make a video on that. Okay, so uh, take these six questions into count. Now coming to English, 10 questions are there. But in English, some of the questions are really very simple. Okay, I know that not everybody knows all the antonyms and synonyms and um, all those words. But you can definitely do the error questions and you can attempt the sentence formation questions as well. In which you just have to place an article. So, you can assume that out of those 10 questions, you can definitely attempt 7 questions. Okay. So, 7 questions from English, 6 from Mathematical Reasoning. Now, let's come to GK. Now, in GK, 3 questions are from General GK. Okay. 2 questions are from History. 1 from Cricket. 1 from Polity. 1 from Computers. And 1 from Commerce. Okay. So, I know that not everybody knows all these uh, GK. But you must be uh, well aware about one or two topics out of these right even if you do two questions okay nine questions are asked of gk even if you do two questions out of this your game is settled okay so let's total up six from reasoning seven uh, from english and two from gk that accounts to 15 15 questions in total out of 25 and that should be your target right so first of all just start the paper and out of those 25 questions of part a 
uh, 10 15 questions okay now you just have to give one quick um, start to and you just have to solve these 15 questions in one uh, one go okay after solving these 15 questions you have 15 marks in your hands now move to part b and higher mathematics part okay now coming to higher mathematics part of part b you do not need to prepare every topic and first of all your hand should be there at the previous years solve all the previous year questions first of all and secondly prepare some of some of the topics okay i give more focus on linear algebra because it is very much scoring and the questions are really simple second you should do for real analysis and then you can study complex analysis because the questions are really very simple and direct so they are scoring around four to five questions are there in every paper okay so these three are the main focus and rest you can just pick your subjects and attempt the questions okay now out of 75 questions even if you attempt 30 questions correctly avoid negative marking don't do any question in which you are even 50% uh, or 75% short let it be so if you attempt 30 questions from there and 15 questions from there are accounts to 45 questions 45 questions are very great to attend in this particular paper and also many questions in this paper are um, sometimes they are declared null and void so you get marks for those questions as well sometimes some question is wrong or uh, that is wrong so basically uh, it is there in almost every paper every previous year question paper so this this much would be pretty enough for you to get any university in this um, by this exam okay so this was all about this video thank you so much for watching the video all the best for your exams thank you